in the case of Carlos Bell. He is the public school employee facing hundreds of charges after producing child pornography in the school where he worked. Now tonight, parents took their anger to administrators and they're making new calls for resignations at the top. Here's Pete Montine with a story that is new tonight. This was the second public meeting about this investigation still unfolding, but the first time administrators publicly addressed parents. Now parents are calling for the superintendent to step down in the wake of all of this. 30 year old Carlos Bell was a teacher's aide here at Benjamin Stoddard Middle School. Two weeks ago, he was indicted on 44 counts of filming child pornography. Police also say he sexually abused children. They also say he intentionally gave some HIV. In a meeting here, parents blamed administrators for not doing enough. Bell was fired in January, but parents did not know of allegations against Bell until he was arrested in June. I got a big rise here out of Yonel Lee. She just spoke to me. Her daughter is about to be in seventh grade here. She told Superintendent Kimberly Hill to resign. I'm truly just disgusted and disappointed because this is a parent's nightmare, and I don't want to bring my child back here. I'm terrified. The administration insists students will be safer when classes start August 28th. Offices have been moved, staff has been increased, and cameras have been installed. By the way, our cameras were not let inside here. The fear was that some of Bell's victims could be in the audience. Police say there are 24 victims in all, but 11 have not yet been identified. In Waldorf, Pete Muntean, WUSA 9. Now, Carlos Bell was also a volunteer high school track coach and he coached for a local track club. The president of Stoddard Middle School was reassigned earlier this month.